Hey everybody, welcome back to Water Advisory, uh, the place that gives you options when you can't drink the water. Um, CJ's back one more time uh, before he gets uh, flown out, and uh, this time we're going with all stouts. And so, we're going to be visiting the dark side. You only knew the power of the dark side. This time we've got Duck Rabbit Milk Stout. Don't know what that means. Don't know how that's going to go. Uh, the Dark Beer Specialist. Oh, that's already scary. <laughs> um, after whatever chaos this is, we've got Dragon's Milk from Holland, Michigan. Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout. That um, sounds good. Fingers crossed, man. I'm, gonna go, I'm, I'm really hoping it. Ooh, established 1997. That's a good year. Yeah. Was it a the, good year? That was the year I came to North Carolina. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 and good old Guinness, uh, is it, how do you say it? Is it Drop? Is it Drop Stout? Is it, stout. is it Drop Stout? Or some fool might have told me Draft. That's how you spell Draft in some other language. Draft Stout. Um, I I don't believe it. Uh, as always, we're going to drink one straight and uh, see how well it, uh, how well it uh, goes on its own. And then try some with some chips. And, uh, I don't know, see if that changes the flavor. So, uh, if you like what you see here, hit that like button. And, uh, if you want to keep seeing this, uh, hit subscribe, go to our Ko-Fi, throw us a couple bucks, um, uh, tell us what to drink. I don't know what the fuck a milk stout is. It's your about to find out. Twelve fluid ounces. They even wrote it completely out, no numbers. Proudly handmade in small batches. Uh, the Duck Rabbit Craft Brewery. Farmville, North Carolina. Oh, well, I don't know. The last one we had from North Carolina was all right. See, I'm not a stout person either, but I have heard the good things about Duck Rabbit, so. Duck Rabbit, you're, you're on the chopping block right now. Pours like a soda. What's a good cheers, do you know? Mm. I'm uncultured. You can just do cheers. Fine, I suppose we haven't done just cheers. 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 Okay. I mean, I didn't want to let my, I didn't want to let the weed out, so. Okay. That's actually not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty, yeah. Fucking duck rabbit. Holy shit, does North Carolina do a better job than anybody else at making their own fucking beers? I hope so, because I got a fucking big thing of cider brewing in that garage over there. You're just going to absorb the uh, North Carolina... Yeah, I'm, ho I'm hoping our collective talent uh, <laughs> will hopefully not have a thing fucking explode in my storage shed. <laughs> um, damn, that was actually really good. I feel like I'm tasting an amount of milk. Not like... Like, almost like hot milk and coffee, almost. Kind of, yeah. It's definitely nice and smooth. I like that. I think I'm getting a lot of it from the smell. I think it's less the taste and more the smell than from. No, uh, yeah, I get I get that 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 coffee taste. But I think that's how stouts are supposed to be. Um, again, I'm uncultured. Uh, stout people, I can um chime in in the comments. Uh, I don't know, just be mean, I guess. Oh, you uneducated swine! Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, well, the, the salt really stands out. But kind of like basically overpowers anything the chip would have had. Like I, 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 I there was a, there was a small battle in my mouth. The salt and the chips kind of had their emplacement. Yeah, and the stout just kind of. I would suggest some sort of bread, um, than chips. Yeah, if you're uh, gonna be snacking on a. a some duck rabbit snouts, stouts, snouts, cheese. I'm already there. Duck rabbit snouts. <sighs> you know, it's already fucking duck rabbit. Throwing in some snouts is, yeah, it's fine. Fucking do rabbits have snouts? That's not called snout. It's a little bunny nose. It's a boop. It's a booper. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think of any any other words that might go with it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, duck rabbit. So far, so good. That's a good start. Um, oh. And uh, didn't give us a story. That's always good. They didn't know that they know they didn't need to. And uh, now I move on to this son of a bitch. Dragon's milk. Um, feel free to make your jokes now, internet. 
Um, bourbon barrel aged stout, uh, bottled in New Holland, Michigan. Okay, I was just like, where the fuck is New Holland? Michigan. All right. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> got, it's right over there next to the little Holland. Don't throw from New Asgard. Oh, I thought that'd be more story. They just made the font really big. I'm actually disappointed. All right. Well, oh. anyway, it's called Dragon's Hook, so maybe let's see if lightning strikes twice. And um, yes, if you if you've seen my previous bottle opener, I've got to use this fucking pedestrian one right now. Super dark. Like I imagine Dragon's Milk would be. Yeah. I'm fr- I've seen so much online. Like, I'm trying <laughs> not... I'm really trying not to imagine anything about... <laughs> uh, I wonder if it was white, though. Then a whole new line of jokes would be made right now. Yeah. I don't know if I could drink it if that was the case. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's, there's still plenty left. To, uh, a fair amount. Probably at least one other glass left in there, but... Uh, let's see, you got eleven uh, percent alcohol. Fuck eleven? Yes, eleven. God damn. Alright. So I'm gonna be <clears throat> staying here for a little bit. <sighs> oh, if I can make you some tacos, we'll, we'll, <laughs> soak, it. we'll soak it up, but damn. <laughs> eleven. Alright. Um let's get to everything's just super sexual hipping dragon's milk. It's just, oh weird. It's got a weird smell. <laughs> Just go what sort of face are you wearing right now? <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean nothing. I was wondering what face you guys were making. Um, all right, lewd ones. We can get lewd. lewd ones. S- send lewds, please. Don't actually send lewds. Please don't send lewds. Don't send any lewds to them. But um, I'll leave my uh, contact stuff. <laughs> Ugh. That is awful. What the fuck is that? It's dragon's milk. Oh, it's like <laughs> someone put fucking... It's like someone put sweet tarts in a beer, but, like, not enough to make it taste more like sweet tarts. Just, like, a couple to ruin it. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I don't dislike it, though. Also... It's, it, I mean, it's definitely has a, that we that weird. It's not like that bold. It does not bold like this one was. Yeah. It's like this one has like a like a hint of sweetness. But I don't know enough about Holland, Michigan, to fucking front on them right now. <laughs> it's the internet. They're gonna be they're gonna be joke roasting us anyway. So say what you want. It's just bourbon barrel taste, aged stout. Tastes like so, okay. I think that's now that I know, part of it. Yeah, now that I see that it's bourbon, there's like a bourbon flavor. Now I'm kind of understanding the flavor, but now I know I probably read that two or three more times before I drank this, but it didn't kick in until after I fucking. Well, that explains what you're tasting. Okay, all right. <clears throat> now that I've steeled my palate, let's try. I'm, I'm gonna try another one just to to adventure. I still don't like it, but it was a lot easier the second time. Yeah. <laughs> Throw some the chip test. Oh, the chip test, man. Let's uh. Oh, I feel like I'm getting some. Mm. The chip covered it up immediately. It covered it up immediately. Yeah, that was a. Yeah, so if you don't like Dragon's Milk, which I'm not really not jumping on board with it right away, um, these chips really like, like chased it like nobody's business. I mean, they're potato based, so I mean, they're, it's their job to soak things up. One hundred percent real, to- fucking potatoes. I keep saying tomatoes. Yeah, I was about Jesus. Saying, yeah, like potato base was a thing. I don't really want tomato chips. Do they make tomato chips? Dude, I bet they could chipify it. Do they? Okay. Holy shit, they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Internet me, please. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Alright, for the chips. 
You know the weirdest thing? Ugh, I really With don't the like chips, it. It reminds me more of vodka. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it does. And I'm guessing that's the bourbon part of it, but fuck, man. Uh, I, I'm ooh, ooh, I don't like it, and I think it's the smell. It really smells like sweet, tarty, like tangy to me, and that just immediately just kills me before I drink it. Part of me wants to try it, but I also don't like beer, so. There's plenty to try. Yeah, there's plenty to try. Also, yes, there's a bunch of recipes on how to make p- tomato chips. That's hilarious. It's officially a thing. Yeah. Okay, nice. Cool. Right. And I feel like slightly less of a fool. Aaron just really thinks I know about tomato chips. Go, go, gadget internet. <sighs> that was rough. That was a rough time. All right, now we're moving on to a pretty, I guess, standard in stouts. Um, good old Guinness. Someone needs to explain why there's a toucan on it. Yes, if you know why there's a fucking toucan on here, I mean, that doesn't really scream Irish. You know, that's so weird, because that's the first time I've seen a drought stout bottle with a toucan on it. I don't understand. I hope that... See, Guinness Special Edition bottle. Is it just because it's Special Edition? Guinness Draught Stout, or Draft Stout, I don't really know, in a collective collectible bottle celebrating the famed Guinness campaigns of the 1930s and 50s. Oh, oh that makes more sense. They were fucking on, they were high. <laughs> they were high. Yeah. They were they were banking on nostalgia. Yep. Perfect. Well done, Guinness. Yeah, there was a couple ads in the 1930s. Um oh, that was they a good, wanted to make that. it they That's were, good. Mm-hmm. They wanted to make an ad that wasn't like other beer ads, so they had different animals. They apparently had a, uh, what was it? Ugh. They had a sea lion that would steal it, a turtle where they can just sit on his back. Oh, a fucking turtle? Apparently, none of the ones during that time that they played were as popular as the toucan on the ads. Uh huh. Rip. They said it was also kind of like a play on, because toucan, as they said that the cans would fill up like two of them, so. Nice. Two That's cans. cute. I get it now. Fine. I take it back. It's a good, <laughs> good promo. You probably should have put that on the fucking bottle, though. Pretty good stout. Fucking dark as a motherfucker. Like, I can't even see through that shit. No, uh, but I know some people that would like this. <sighs> yep, this is how I remember it. Yeah, this is dope. This is actually not my first time having this. Um, you fucking liar, man. I didn't lie. You lied to me. I didn't lie to you. <laughs> Never asked. Can't lie if you never asked, eh? That seems like it might have some dark connotations to it. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying something new at karaoke. Oh, I forgot. What did you sing? Because it's star karaoke, and you can sing, like, anime songs and be a complete weeb. I think I sang Rhythm Emotion. <laughs> Gundam Wing. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Fucking bravo. Even, even if you did poorly, bravo. <laughs> poorly my ass. I'm a, I'm a karaoke contest winner. Nice. Ow. Not all of that chip was chewed enough to go down. <laughs> chip actually tasted fucking stronger, to be honest. But, um... A little bit. Alright, let's, um... But again, I think it's just a thing about stouts <sighs> themselves. They, they take center stage anything else that's in your mouth is might as well not be there that's pretty good though um i'm actually pretty torn um the guinness is really good it's a bit smoother um they're easier definitely just easier to drink yeah duck crab it though was really fucking good it sounds weird probably because i'm a north carolina native but it feels to me that the duck rabbit has more personality. Personality goes the wrong way. This stands out a little bit more to me than Guinness, where Guinness has a nationwide audience that they have to serve, that they have to uh, cater to. So because of that, I feel like this is a little bit blander. Not in, not in a bad case, but just strong words for Guinness. Take that, Ireland. I don't. Why don't wanna... you come all the way across the pond and do something about it? <laughs> Gonna get my ass kicked by every Irish person. Please but... direct all your hate mail towards me, and definitely not 
Not CJ. But no, um, it's it's not that it's bland per se, but it's more. In in comparison to the other one, it's slightly blander. Yeah, it's it, it's like it's 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 meant to cater to the tastes of more people. So when you do that, you kind of lose a little bit of your flavor. You lose a little bit of your personality. Where as Duck Rabbit, well, if someone from California doesn't like it, screw it. Fucking doing it right, Farmville. Dude, good, good job. Fucking Dragon's Boat. What the fuck are you thinking? Um, here we go. Uh, as far as stats go, I usually fucking hate stats. I, they're usually not the ones I go for, as far as beers are involved. And if that's the case for you, definitely Duck Rabbit. Is it Rabbit Duck? No, Duck Rabbit. And whatever the fuck milk stout is. Guinness is kind of like, I guess, like a stout staple, so... I'd put it like that. It's it's definitely like a basic sour, something that you'd want to start off with. If you want something that that goes off in a little bit of another direction, you could choose the dragon's teat or the um, <laughs> <laughs> straight from the dragon's teat <laughs> or the duck rabbit, um, and then you can have the personality of those certain of those different areas. Uh, that's. Probably it for Water Advisor. Not like as in forever, just, you know, for today. Thanks to everybody who's uh, dropped in on the Ko-Fi, who left a like, subscribe. Uh, fucking, I really need to put a sheet down for all this atypical YouTube bullshit. So, uh, here's all, it's all the Patreons. So right there, there's your name. Um, he doesn't have a Patreon. You said what? You, you know. oh. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Screw all of that. Yeah, they're, 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 what do you mean? They're probably there. I mean, if you have Patreons. It doesn't exist. I mean... <laughs> So, three years from now, when a Patreon exists, yep. thank you. Yep. Oh, just got that Instagram going. <laughs> so, yeah. Not for Water Advisory, though. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, six so. months from now, when Water Advisory has an Instagram, Boom. thank you. Yeah. But, uh, what was it, uh, thanks for visiting Water Advisory, uh, where we give you options when you can't drink the water. I don't have a good tagline. Don't drink the water. I don't know, fucking <laughs> Get new taglines? And, no, that was, that was, I was supposed to work on a tagline? Uh, My bad. Um, so, yeah, don't drink the water. Shazam! <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I probably can't say that now because of these. No, you can't say that. Yeah, uh, There's a cease and desist uh, letter yeah, in the thing for you right now. I'm taking it back. You good? I guess, yeah. <laughs>